So as I'm sure you guys have seen by now, the CS market is doing extremely well, like almost going parabolic in certain skins. Most recently, just the normal everyday play skins, mostly from old cases, have been doing extremely well, and they're the thing I mostly want to talk about in this video. Literally every time I open up Twitter, I see something new, and I'll just show a few of them on screen right now, like flip knife fades, stiletto knives, all just jumping up in price, whether it's just in the past week or the past month, like even everything I own. M9 Doppler, Bayonet Fade, I'm very thankful I bought these just random knives, they're all just jumping up massively in price in just the past month. Month. So is this going to continue? Was there any reason for it to just start now? And what is going to stop it? Let's dig into it today. But just before we get into it, check out how to get a free $5 training with the sponsor Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is a great way to get the actual value for your skin and not lose a lot of money while trading for skins that look great. You can easily trade the junk you have sitting around for good investment items that can earn you money over time or trade for a knife that's been doing incredibly well price-wise long term. They're not hard to find at all. And once again, free $5 bonus on your first trade when you sign up. Link at the top of the description. But for now, let's get back into it. Now, first off, I think part of the reason for this spike is simply the time of the year. Around this time last year is where we started to see the dip from Operation Riptide's release get bought up and for things to really start shooting up in price because when that dip happened, things kind of just dipped down and then went sideways for like two months. Around this time of the year is where things started to pick up and really bring us into this run that we've been going in for the past year. So it's possible that's just part of the reason, but another big reason and partially could be a reason that lasts for a much longer time is the release of the Steam Deck, which might not seem like it correlates at all, but could keep skin prices going much higher, especially play skins worth a few hundred bucks. The Steam Deck can, of course, be bought on Steam with Steam Balance for anywhere from $400 to $650 before tax, so it's actually a bit more. So someone with skins worth a bit more than that or even a few hundred bucks can sell it to get some Steam Wallet Balance and then either get money towards the Steam Deck or just pay for it outright. CS skins help a ton with that and make Steam Balance actually useful to buy something useful in real life and convert it to real money without third party hassle and I think it definitely plays some role in the crazy hype we've seen recently. Maybe when the Steam Winter Sale comes we'll see a sale in the actual Steam Deck as well and people can sell their skins for a bit cheaper on the market as well there but time will tell, sales never usually tend to affect the market massively, maybe there's some skins sold for the highest buy order prices but it's usually nothing too crazy and you don't really have to panic when a sale comes around. And another reason for this that would just make sense that the Steam Deck is really affecting the market is something I covered in yesterday's video is that values on Buff163, which is the main website that people use to determine the true value, true cash value of skins, is that the value on that website was normally like 67% of Steam value. So if something is $100 on Steam, it's like 67 bucks on Buff. Nowadays, it's like 80%. So if something's 100 bucks on Steam Market, it's like $80 on buff. And even then, I've seen stuff like 90%. There's becoming a much closer margin in certain skins on buff in the Steam Market. And I think that's because of this. Steam funds are actually becoming viable and people really like using them, I guess, to buy the Steam Deck or just for whatever they want to buy on Steam. It's very interesting. Now, something else I covered in one of my recent videos is I really think that in the skin market, the only thing that's really going to quote unquote crash the market, even though it'll be more of a correction, is the operation. And maybe the Steam Winter Sale once again can cause a very small part in it as well, but those sales, once again, usually just tend to be things sold at the highest buy order, no massive corrections or crashes. But the operation will bring a ton of selling pressure. But as for my skins, I'm not selling anything soon. Just the way the market has been, you don't really need to unless you need the money for something. There's nothing to suggest a complete collapse in this market or even a long-term downtrend or even really a short-term downtrend at all to be honest except for the operation. Skins have been in an uptrend for years upon years and the only thing that really stopped that uptrend was when the entire skin market just went parabolic last summer which was definitely an exception and we like have never seen that before and shortly after that when of course the operation got released. That's really it recently. So yeah, I'm still strong in this market. Personally, I'm gonna try and probably scoop up an M44 Poseidon. I don't really wanna spend four grand on Howl because my inventory is already like nine grand now, but in these next couple of weeks, I'm gonna try and scoop up a Poseidon, see if their prices do well with this M44 buff, or I guess that wasn't really a buff, it's just becoming meta now. We'll see, maybe the trend will increase. That's probably gonna be my next big buy. 
But yeah, besides that, I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. And if you did enjoy it, as always, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And of course, check out Skins Monkey for that free $5 bonus as well. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.